We also have the option to use different style elements in our PDF and we'll go through circles, boxes, lines and dashed lines in this video. The first one we're going to tackle is the circle. This is done with PDF ellipse. And then we need a few values. The first one is the X position of the upper left corner of our ellipse or circle. Uh, we'll just type in 10. Y will be 10 as well. And the next one will be the width of the circle. Let's do 30. And the height has to be 30 as well. So if you want to make a circle, width and height has to be the same. And Last one will be style. If you leave this empty, we'll just have a look at how it looks like. It will draw a circle with a border. And so the standard is draw. If you want to fill it, you can do F and then it's filled. And you can't see this now. We'll look at this later. If you type in DF, it will be a border and a fill, but since both things are black, we can't see that now, so we stay with the standard, which is draw for now. Same thing basically with a rectangle. So we'll type rect. The first one is again our upper left corner. Let's take this and 50. Y is 50 as well. And then we take the width 5. Height is 10. And also, let's so use the default style. Shift type style. And there we have our rectangle. Let's make that a little bit bigger just that so we can see it better. Here we go. Next one will be lines. Uh, this is a PDF line, and this has four values. The first one is the starting X position. So we'll actually name this X1. Uh, I want to start at the left side of our document, so I will leave in a zero. And I want it to be in the middle of the document. So Y1 equals half of our height. So as you can see up here, I had the variables for width and height, and this is a four paper. So it's 200 millimeters wide and 297 height. So I will just use this height half, and then we use x2. This is the whole width, and y2 will be same. And there's our line. If we want to have the line starting at the margin, just type in 10 here with minus 10. Go. Now we have a little border here. Uh, we could also make that that it's not a horizontal line. So we will use, let's take that. Mm -hmm. Let's stay with the X one. This third. And now it's not horizontal anymore. Last one will be dashed line. So PDF dashed line. And this has six values in it. So again, it starts at the same thing. I'll just copy this down real quick and change it back to, if, let's do two here, it's zero. And now we can see it's a dashed line. Let's make this a little bit bigger. There we go. And we can also set the spacing and length of the dash. So dash length, let's make this five. And then space length, is let's do eight and as you can see 
the line is now shorter than the space. We can also style our boxes and lines. So let's say we want to fill the circle um, really quick. If you want to make an, an ellipse, you just type in different values. And now this was <laughs> the wrong one. Let's do height 50. And as you can see, it's an ellipse now. But I like circles more in this case. Okay. So let's fill our ellipse with a color. So we'll uh, set fill color. Again, this is RGB values. So we'll just use yellow, copy and paste. Go. Ah, and now we have to type in fill. As you can see now, it is yellow. If we want to keep the border, we will use DF. And as you can see, the border is there. If you want to give the border a different color, you can also do that. Set draw color. And let's make that red. And as you can see, now everything got red because whatever you set here as a draw color is for all the borders and lines. So if we, if you want to reset it afterwards to be black again, just change that. And now it's back to black. And last but not least, we can also change our line width. So start with the beginning. PDF set. Line width, let's make a big one, two. And again, as you can see, this is done for all the lines in the document. If you want to change it afterwards, it is just do this here, and the default value is zero two. Oops. And that's it. I hope this helped. See you next time.